Hey guys, Weeby News here again with another Darampa V3 Let's Play episode. So I'm recording this about like a couple hours after I recorded my last part, but I'm sure you guys will get it a few days after the first part goes up. But uh, last time we met all the other ultimates and everybody was crazy, just like they always are in every game. I've actually heard that um, this is probably the best cast according to, I don't know, some of my friends who have already experience the spoilers. They say that a lot of people like these characters from like this game the most out of any other cast. And I can see it. It seems like um, they all are really unique. There's really not a character that I feel like I dislike in any way. I think Tinko's like degenerate males thing could definitely get old after a while, but I don't dislike her. I feel like she's probably gonna get some type of redemption story that's gonna make up for it in, in the end, so <laughs> yeah. But anyways, uh, we're about to meet Monokuma, so let's go ahead and go. Or, <laughs> I assume we're about to meet Monokuma because we're getting called to the gym, right? Everybody's here. Do you agree? All 16 of us have gathered. Mm. <laughs> it's a pretty spectacular seeing all 16 of us ultimates gathered together. <laughs> you may not be able to be so easygoing for much longer. Um... In this situation, it's no use thinking about things, so eventually Sumugi stopped thinking. <laughs> what? <laughs> Do you talk in third person? <laughs> yeah, what's going to happen to us? I bet it'll be a big pain. Hmm. Hmm. What? What? What are you looking at? Himiko! Um, Himiko, you can use amazing powers, right? Because you're a psychic and stuff, right? It's magic. I'm not a psychic. I'm a mage. Ah! <laughs> well, that's amazing. I definitely want to incorporate that into Neo Aikido. What sort of training do you undergo to gain your awesome powers? <laughs> Talking about this is too tiring. <laughs> you're pretty lazy. Please wait. Pardon me, but we need to be on our guard. We do not know if and when danger will strike. Please don't. Don't say that. I'm so scared. I don't know what to do. <laughs> It'll be okay. There is no need to worry. Atua will protect us. Thank goodness. Phew, <laughs> that's a relief. <laughs> Fucking moron! Is your brain full of weeds or something? I'll whack him out of that skull of yours. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Just leave it to me. Leave it to me! If those teddy bears show themselves again, I'll kick their asses. Going to wonder... Huh? Going... Huh? What that? What's wrong? What's wrong? See? Listen, hear that? Huh? I think I hear it. It sounds like an engine from a robot anime. <laughs> We're pretty much in an anime. Yoo-hoo! Rise and shine or sign! God, these monarch beasts. <laughs> Deja vu. Everyone! Everyone behind Go Ganta. What? What the heck are these monsters? Wow. Whoa, so cool! Oh yeah. <laughs> shit. <laughs> They're the Exocells, highly mobile bipedal weapons platforms. They got a lots of home. Wait, they got lots of hometown pride too. What are you saying? God dang it! I think that's the nerdy one, right? God, I always keep getting their names confused. I think Monotaro is the main one. I can't keep trap track of these backstories. <laughs> what whatever they are, they better kill off the Uggos and save me for last. Hey. <laughs> Start with Kaide. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> so mean. <laughs> go like Himiko. Ugly. I like her. <laughs> Run, Himiko. <laughs> Why are you concerned about me all of a sudden? <laughs> By the way. <laughs> Didn't someone say they would kick all their asses? <laughs> what the hell? Nobody told me about these. It's okay. All right, chill out. No need to panic. I remember these from before. We're probably not in any danger. If they wanted to kill us. They would have done it by now. With that, Rant With that Rantaro casually walks up to the exosols. So, what do you want from us? You clearly want something. That's what these guns are for, right? Let me guess. 
you're gonna force us to do something, and if we don't, we get hurt. That means... Well, you have our attention, so what do you want? And that's that. Huh? Well, aren't you a wise guy? <laughs> I'll start off. Listen up. What we want you punk asses to do. Dot, dot, dot. <laughs> My heart's going 100 miles per hour. I'm gonna say it. You ready? <laughs> Hell yeah. It's a... It's a killing game. <laughs> oh, he said something. <laughs> oh, he's all robot, too. He does kind of remind me of Kibo. Ah, Mono, damn, he said something. Huh? What? <laughs> Mono, damn, how dare you upstage me? Huh? W wait a second. What did you say? Hmm. If I heard him correctly. It's a killing game. <laughs> I'm so surprised he's talking so early. Uh, he said it again. <laughs> God damn it, Mono Dam, I'm gonna crush you with this here Exosol. <sighs> Come on, we don't have time to fight amongst ourselves. Okay. Yeah, if you don't stop fighting, I'm gonna crush you with this here Exosol. <sighs> you too, Monotaro. Leave it to me. If this is what it's come to, then I'll crush the four of you with this here Exosol. What are you saying? Hey, why are you including me? Oh well. Oh well, it's more appropriate for us to be hostile to each other. Are they gonna do the same? Oh. <laughs> Thought they might do the same. Who are you earlier. calling Jabroni? Jabroni. <laughs> what does that mean? What you say, Jabroni? Is that another bear pun that I'm just like missing out on? It's too dangerous. We need to get out of here, or else. Now, now, now. <laughs> here we go. What? Mono Kuma. My cute little cubs, you gotta knock off this awful fighting. Sounds different. Oh, that voice! Sounds more Mickey Mouse-ish. Father! <laughs> father, father, is that you? Papa Kuma. <laughs> Papa Kuma. Papa Kuma. <laughs> Daddy, where are you, Daddy? Huh? Daddy! <laughs> it's so weird, Monokuma having kids. At that moment, the lights in the gymnasium suddenly shut off. <laughs> Angel wings. <laughs> I'm here. Starting out with the Death Note reference already. And the headmaster of the Ultimate Academy! You sound so different. The one! The only! Monokuma! Nice to meet ya! Yay! <laughs> Yay! Father is here! Hell yeah! Hell yeah! Another epic entrance from Papa Kuma. How nice! Daddy is so cool. <laughs> da, da, da. <laughs> My little cubs. <laughs> oh god. Okay. This Monokuma voice kills me. I'll try my best. <laughs> My cute little cubs, you're all so freaking cute. <laughs> the only reason I can tolerate your tiresome antics is because you're all so cute. <laughs> you guys screwed up the script so much in the first part, I'm so pissed. Even when the prologue is going way too long, I'll allow it because you guys are so cute. <laughs> in fact, the very first prologue ever was done. Only short because you cutie patooties weren't there. Pops! Pops, are you mad at us? <laughs> Don't be stupid! Don't be an idiot! I would never get mad at my cute little cubs. <laughs> <laughs> God, he's mad! <laughs> but Daddy is still cool even when he's angry. That's right! Pops is from a planet of handsome bears that get cooler as they get angrier. It's getting interesting! Super Monokuma, Super Monokuma 2, Super Monokuma 3, and finally Super Monokuma 4. <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> Times do I gotta say it? I'm not mad! I feel like this is probably some sort of shonen reference I'm not getting. Ah, oh, crap. Ah, father just transformed into a Super Monokuma <laughs> God, Super Monokuma! 
Akuma! Is this supposed to be like Dragon Ball Super reference That's of some sort? Possible when six Monokumas of pure heart are gathered together. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> what the hell? Is that a Kingdom Hearts reference? It's the power you bust out when you really want to fuck the world shit up! <laughs> How many references are they gonna include here? The power you only see when the gods themselves do battle. <laughs> anyway. Anyway. I'm not really mad. In fact, I gotta admit, I'm kinda proud of you guys. <laughs> you kids really stand out from the rest of the second generation failures in the world. No way! Isn't that a little harsh? I'm sure there are some second generation success stories. Yeah, but... I can't think of any, though. <laughs> think again. It's this... cause there's none worth remembering! <laughs> This looks like some sort of JoJo's but reference. Father remembers, cause he knows everything. Holy shit! That's right, Papa Kuma. You know all kinds of useless crap. Cause Daddy gets all his alternate facts from the most trusted names and fake news. <laughs> You're damn straight, I do. <laughs> Ooh, I love embracing my children. They're so cute. I just can't help myself. <laughs> Usually ratings will plummet when mascots appear in sequels too much. <laughs> but in this case, ratings are through the roof. All thanks to the cute mono cubs. I only had you guys for ratings. <laughs> what is this? What's going on? Seems like another teddy bear appeared. No. Yes, but this is no ordinary teddy bear. I can see it the despair and madness swirling around that cursed thing. You're really <laughs> Whoa. First of all, I'm no teddy bear. I'm Monokuma. And show some respect. I'm the headmaster of the Ultimate Academy for Gifted Juveniles. Huh? A headmaster? Mm -hmm. It appears to be some sort of anonymous robot with a built-in AI like me. Dong dong dong! <laughs> yeah, but the Exosols are different though. They're brainless buckets of bolts. That's right! They're mindless, pretty killing machines that can only be controlled by us, the monocups. Sheesh. Autonomous robots piloting we weapons platforms. This is certainly turning into quite the story. Mm, actually. Well, that may be, but what I'm worried about is this killing game you mentioned. I mean, I already pretty much knew about it, because I know about everything, apparently, but <laughs> I'm just gonna ask for shits and giggles anyway. <laughs> what exactly does that mean? <laughs> How? What is so amusing? <laughs> it's just... When I said it before, I kind of phoned it, phoned in, and now I feel awkward. Extreme! I want you students with your ultimate level talents to participate in a killing game. <laughs> uh, huh? A killing game? Us? Please stop! Please stop joking. Why would we agree to participate in a killing game? Huh? huh? You guys don't want to do it? <laughs> Go to never do that. Of course not, gentlemen. No hurt people. And another thing. But if you've looked around the academy, then you already know, don't you? This academy is surrounded by a huge wall. You can't escape to the outside world. As long as we have the exosols, you can't defy us. In other words, I hold the power of life and death over each and every one of you. So unsure. So, what do you... What do you say if we don't want to die? You gotta be kidding me! You gotta be kidding me! Why would friends kill each other? We're really friends. <laughs> we like we just kind of met. I mean, we got the friendship fragments and stuff, but... <laughs> Who said you guys were friends? Jeez. <laughs> no way! Those stupid friendship fragments Kaede's always talking about? <laughs> you guys aren't friends at all. <laughs> Your enemies out to kill each other. <laughs> huh? Enemies? We're enemies? But I was giving so many hope speeches, I thought they would work. Hmm. I still have a lot to learn from father about sarcasm. All this talking's bugging the shit out of me. I gotta beat up Monodom to relieve the stress. <laughs> Poor Monodom. But I don't like that. I'm not good with violence or gore or sad situations. Um, Daddy, instead of a killing game, can we do rock, paper, scissors tournament? You stupid! Who'd want to play a game where no one dies? Oh, well, you do have a compassionate personality. It's so cute, I can barely stand it. <laughs> They're so cute. <laughs> They're so cute. <laughs> Why, it's cute enough to eat. Cute enough that I want to eat it. <laughs> hey. It's a little weird. 
Hey, Monofu, you might want to dial back the cute stick a bit. <laughs> Gonna be some cannibalism going on. <laughs> cool it with stupid banter. I want to ask something. How are we supposed to kill each other? Are you going to give us weapons? Damn, Hoshi, you're just like, okay. <laughs> Let's get this shit started. <laughs> I'm already on death row. I don't really care. What the hell, man? What are you ta asking? What? We need to get information from them first. We can't do anything if we don't know anything. Fuck you guys. <laughs> no way. Weapons. Huh? What kind of barbaric display are you envisioning? <laughs> you couldn't be more wrong. Why, at the Ultimate Academy for Gifted Juveniles, <laughs> the killing aim is quite the refined, sophisticated experience. What? <laughs> sophisticated experience? Yeah, yeah! Yes, here the killing aim is punctuated by class trials. Okay, here we go. Class trials? <laughs> I gotta okay, go through okay. this all again. Okay, let us explain. Alright, so if one of you maggots kills someone, you all gotta take part in a class trial. The class trial is where the blackened killer faces off against their spotless classmates. It's where you punk ass bitches argue over who you fucking think the blackened is. <laughs> After that, it's voting time! And if the majority of you idiots vote correctly, then only the blackened killer will receive p, -p punishment. So cruel. <laughs> Just imagine all the bloody car makes me want to puke. I don't know what to think about her because she always comes off so sweet like Monami, but I don't know. I mean, she's obviously like related to Monokuma, so it's like I don't trust her. After the blackened <laughs> is punished. The rest of you will just keep right on living together. But if you vote for the wrong person during the class trial, the Blacken gets off scot-free and all the spotless students get punished instead. <laughs> Hell yeah! Them's the rules of the class trial! Woohoohoo! Ow! <laughs> the tongue. Ah, too much. That explanation revealed way too much. <laughs> you gotta be more coy, flirtatious, seductive, just like your old man. Gross. Gross. <laughs> hey, um... <laughs> the point is, it's not enough to kill someone. You also have to survive the class trial. How should I put this? Kill without being caught, and then survive the trial. Sounds eerily similar to the real world. What? <laughs> you think so? And the outside world must be masterfully, de masterfully desi designed, even at its cruelest. Listen. One can likely imagine, but I shall ask, just in case. What is the punishment you mentioned earlier? Yeah! Simply put, it's an execution! <laughs> execution? <laughs> if you do a crime, you get punished for it. That's like the most basic rule of society. But this is a killing game! So the punishment for murder is a bit more... permanent. <laughs> Hell yeah! Ooh, I wonder what kind of punishments there will be. Lots of blood and guts and brains, I bet. The kind of stuff that gives me a reaching boner, what the hell? <laughs> Why are you so obsessed with boners? <laughs> What, Mono Kid, you already have a boner? Get a rock <laughs> oh my god, what the hell? <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> Blood, guts, brain, mono boners. It's all too much. <laughs> oh, whoa, Mono Feet just puked. <laughs> Put that thing away, Mono Kid. I'm so freaking hard. Yeah. <laughs> what the hell is this? <laughs> huh? Puke gives you a boner and see you. <laughs> I think me and you have a very similar definitions of adorable Monokuma. <laughs> hey, you little monocubs and your boners and your vomit. Oh, it's just so fucking cute. <laughs> what? <laughs> what the hell's cute about that? Well now. <laughs> all right, I'm over all this boring exposition. If you guys know this shit, when this is the third game like this. Come on now. <laughs> Let's get this heart pounding killing school semester started already. <laughs> you have free reign to murder however you like, too. 
like bludgeoning or stabbing. Feeling cheap? Try strangulation. Feeling lazy? Try poisoning. Whether you shoot, burn, drown, blow up, crash, electrocute, or laugh your victim to death, you can use any method you like to kill anybody you like, any way you like. At the Ultimate Academy for Gifted Juveniles, you will realize your murderous potential. 16 talented teenage prodigies, all competing for first place in a killing game. There's no better setting for an event like this than the Ultimate Academy. <laughs> oh God, I'm gonna face it again. <laughs> oh my God, I have a boner now too. Killing school semester, it's like a game. This is so sweet. <laughs> <laughs> Risking our lives for some silly game is absurd. Right. It doesn't seem like it'll be boring though. I have a boner too. <laughs> this is so awesome. How many how many crazy people are in this game? <laughs> Damn dude, like Hoshi, Rontaro, Oma, they all seem so like stoked about this. <laughs> oh yeah, correct you too. Hey, how can you degenerates be so calm? It can't be. This this has to be a lie, right? It's a lie, right? <laughs> A lie, more like fiction. Like a story on TV or a video game. <laughs> a scenario so removed from reality, we can hardly believe it's happening. It's no use. I don't want to be in a killing game. It's wrong. I'd never do that. <laughs> <laughs> well, if you don't want to participate in the killing game, that's going to be a problem. Because <laughs> the killing game is the only reason you're here. Huh? <laughs> what? Now then, unleash your talents and have a happy, homicidal, horrific, hilarious killing game. Oh, jeez. Wait just a minute. Oh. Hmm. Stop it. <laughs> no matter what you say, we won't do it. That's wrong. <laughs> we'll never participate in a killing game. I don't know, Kaide. Everybody else seems kind of stoked. Whatever you have planned, I'm not going to let you get away with it. Um. Kaide, you shouldn't just rashly defy that thing. That's nice. <laughs> no, no. I welcome her resistance. That kind of defiant spirit is important to the killing game. We have to have a protagonist. <laughs> it's fun to watch the defiant ones eventually snap and get their hands dirty. <laughs> what do you mean by that? I love it. Everyone loves that kind of brutality in a death game, especially me. It never gets old. It's so fun and entertaining that I just get unbearably pumped up. <laughs> Plus, as the headmaster, it's my job to force you to do it. <laughs> <laughs> we stood in the dumbfounded silence, surrounded by the squealing laughter of Monokuma and his cubs. Everything about the situation was so messed up. An academy surrounded by a giant wall. Sixteen ultimate students trapped inside. Mysterious stuffed bears and deadly weapons and new friends forced to play some killing game. It all felt like something out of a sadistic work of fiction. A sadistic story no different from reality itself. And against my will, I was now a character in that story. Oh, sweet, now I get this opening. <laughs> See all the characters. I like this opening, it looks pretty good. It looks so good, like, I don't know. It's like on the PlayStation 4, that was kind of how I felt when I like watched the demo. I feel the same way, like everything just looks so much better. Like, makes me feel like I could never go back to Vita. <laughs> I like the new theme too, it's so jazzy. Ultimate Revival, and so we're out of the prologue. New, Ultimate Academy for Gifted Juveniles badge. Ah, a trophy! Ultimate Cold Open. Yeah, let's save. After Monokuma and the Monocups left, an alarm suddenly rang for my monopad. 
Not just for mine, the alarm was going off throughout the whole gym. Which meant everyone else had received a monopad as well. When I took mine out, a message was displayed on the screen. Ultimate Academy e-handbook. Students must live at the Ultimate Academy for the remainder of their foreseeable future. Once a murder takes place, all surviving students must participate in a class trial. The black end is exposed during the trial, they alone will be executed. If the black end is not exposed, all remaining students will be executed. If the black end survives the class trial, they will graduate and re-enter the outside world. The killing game and class trials will continue until only two... <laughs> Dear God! Until only two surviving students remain. Oh my God. <laughs> really? <laughs> really? <laughs> Is it actually gonna be two surviving students? Or are we gonna like stop the killing game before that? Interesting. Nighttime is from 10 p.m. to 8 a.m. The dining hall and gymnasium are off limits at night. Violence towards Monokuma, the headmaster of the Ultimate Academy is strictly prohibited. Monokuma will never directly commit a murder. Your monopads are very important items. Please do not damage them. I love how he just went with like the iPad but put mono in front of it. <laughs> This is an original idea. <laughs> Shut up, Kaide. <laughs> the body discovery announcement will play when three or more students are discover a body. With the minimal restrictions, you are free to explore the campus at your own discretion. Students who violate these rules will be immediately exterminated by the exosols. The headmaster may add new regulations to this list any time. You gotta be kidding me. I will never. Aww. I will never participate in a killing game. Poor Kaede. My class trial. Our class trial. Daily life. <laughs> the ultimate academy for gifted juveniles. School regulations. So these are the rules. <laughs> How? I do not understand why someone would force us to do this. But... But the rules are pretty cut and dry. This game doesn't seem like it'll be boring. I am so stoked about this. You gotta be kidding me! <laughs> That's not the problem. Listen. Please lower your voice. It is ruining the atmosphere. I'm pretty stoked about this too. Me, Rontaro, and Oma all have boners right now. <laughs> the three Kamidas. Oh yeah! Hey, hey, what does the six regulation mean? The killing game and class trials will continue until only two surviving students remain. Yes, yeah, seriously, like two. God, that's like so little. Only two surviving <sighs> students? What would be the reason for that? <laughs> so we can ship them, of course. <laughs> only two surviving students, so what else are you gonna do with them? <laughs> that's... Perhaps it's because you couldn't do a trial with just two people. Oh yeah, or that. I see, I see! <laughs> I see, I see. You're so smart, Shuichi. Always messing around. Quit screwing around. Killing game, school regulations? Don't screw around! To hell with all that crap. Who'd go along with something like that? Kaido raised the monopad as if to smash the device on the ground. Oh. Whoa, hey now, don't do that. School rules say you can't break it. Hmm. If you violate the rules, then the exosols will dispose of you. What? I don't care about the rules. No way I'm gonna play this messed up game. No. It isn't about playing the game. It's too dangerous to disobey him now. Yeah. Forget about him. Just means one less dumbass for the world to deal with. Shut up! Hey, who are you calling a dumbass? I took a deep breath and shouted with all my might. Oh, jeez. Hey, quit fighting already. Whoa. Whoa, what the? Jeez. We shouldn't be fighting amongst ourselves. Right now, we need to work together. Hmm. I need to give a Pope speech. I'm the protagonist, okay? Honestly, it'd probably be more inspiring if I played a song than gave a speech. Mm -hmm. Chopin's Military Polonaise would definitely help unite us. Right? Yeah, I could get behind some baloney, and I don't even like meat or tomatoes. God, oh my, you little shit. Right. I agree with Kite AT. We must remember who the real enemy is. Master told me that strength must always be aimed in the proper direction. <laughs> oh, poor thing. Oh my gosh. Anyways, you're all panicking too much. Just stay calm like me. Wow. 
Wow, you're shaking so much. Really? Even I can't handle these intense vibrations. And trust me, I've got loads of experience. Hey. <laughs> Thanks, best girl. Anyways, why don't we work together and search for an exit one more time? But, but we looked all over that wall, and there wasn't a single hole. Please wait. Now wait just a second. If there's no opening in the wall, then how did we get inside these walls in the first place? Uh -huh. Oh, good point. Got it? That means there must be an opening somewhere. We just have to find it. Whoever trapped us here wants us to fight each other. All right. So let's show them that we're not going to let that happen. We're not going to fight each other. We're going to work together, okay? Dot, dot, dot. Um. Why are you quiet? Did I say something wrong? I do not agree. On the contrary, you made your case with such persistent aplomb that we've been rendered speechless. Jeez. <laughs> I was going to say the same thing, but you beat me to it. Got it. You're exactly right. We can't give up so easily. Come on, come on. Let's split up and try to find the exit. Oh. Ooh, Atua, give us strength. Wow, impressive. I must admit, I admire your spirit. Hey. Oh, wait. Yeah? Now what is it? We were just about to get started. Um. Uh, maybe it not matter much, but. Gone to find manhole earlier in grass, behind school building. Huh? A manhole? Gone to peek in, see big underground passage. Think maybe it exit. But... Sorry, it's probably not so simple. Ah! You gotta mention more important stuff like that much faster. Mm. Gone to peek in, see big underground... <laughs> no. <laughs> Wait, not like that. You're talking too fast. Either way. The boiler is behind the school building. We must corroborate Gonta's claim at once. Corroborate? She's so... She's so fancy. Ganta, please lead the way. Got it. Okay, everyone follow Ganta. With Ganta leading us, we hurried out of the gym. Just when I was about to follow after them. <laughs> wow, I'm <impressive>. Oh no. <laughs> what do you want, Green Kamida? Kaede, that was pretty cool back there. Huh? Huh? What was? How should I put this? The way you changed the mood completely. Seems like everyone looks up to you. Looks up to me, come on, that's ridiculous. I just spoke from the heart is all. So unsure. So it just comes naturally to you then. That's even more cool. <laughs> oh god. <coughs> that's bright. <laughs> you have what it takes to win. Huh? What? That means. <laughs> and it just goes back to normal. <laughs> I didn't make any weird fucked up faces. Trust me, ooh ooh. I was just thinking what you said back there. I would would have pissed off whoever was running this. They definitely don't want us holding hands and working together. I'm sure. They're going to come for you, Kaide, with everything they've got. I'm a little worried about you. You're just so straightforward. <laughs> It'll actually be me coming after you. I mean, I'm not the mastermind, but... <laughs> oh, God. And away he goes. That guy could really stand to be less cryptic. That's true. Uh, perhaps it's a warning? That's what I think, anyway. Being strong-willed could get you into a lot of trouble around here. <sighs> sorry. Uh, sorry. I didn't mean to sound so negative at a time like this. No. It's fine. You only said that because you're worried, aren't you? But... Yeah, Rontaro is a mystery. He forgot his ultimate talent as well. Is that something you can really forget? Mm-hmm. Well, there's no use thinking about it right now. We should just head to that manhole. Okay. Oh, you're right. Oh, Saihara. Don't be evil, Saihara, please. Please don't be crazy. There's uh, too many crazy people in this game already. We probably shouldn't waste our time thinking about things like that. Yeah, let's catch up with the others. Then. It's kind of weird, the backyard being like inside a building. Looks like we're all here, so where's this manhole? Um, um, over here in grass. Oh, I talk to people. What do you think, best boy? Um, so there's even grass out here. Ah, oh, be careful, the roots, everybody. Oh, <laughs> so nice. Don't be crazy. What do you think, Kibo? Why? 
There's a monitor here too. That aside, this is a rather remote location to install a communication device. Mm -hmm. It's a pointless expenditure, wouldn't you agree? <laughs> I agree with everything you say, Kibo. Fucking slugs! Won't waste my time, you kooky bitch. Hurry up already. Chop, chop. Stop clicking on us, damn it. <laughs> what do you think, Psycho? How should I put this? We should investigate the manhole right away. If it is an exit, it's only a matter of time until Monokuma comes for us. Uh, I'll talk to Oma. <laughs> oh, look at all these weeds. This place could definitely use a groundskeeper. Right, Keyboy? <laughs> I think he called him that in the demo, too. <laughs> Keyboy. Please stop! Why are you telling me that? Furthermore, I would prefer you address me as Kibo. But... But you can pull weeds, right, Keyboy? <laughs> well, of course. <laughs> I can do all sorts of things just as well as any person. What? As well as any person, but you're not a person. <laughs> this robophobic. That's discrimination. Robophobic discrimination. <laughs> oh my god. All these robophobes in the world, Kibo. <laughs> Get them. Okay, I'll go ahead and click on it. It's true, there really is a manhole in the grass. <laughs> An important hole near some bush? Sounds familiar, am I right, ladies? <laughs> oh, Ruma, never change. Whoa! Ah, this manhole cover looks heavy. Can we even lift it? Leave it to me. I can try. Kibo placed his hands on the manhole cover and with all its all his strength, he... Mm -hmm. My apologies. <laughs> he sounds so robotic. Just in like that one, that one take. How embarrassing. It won't even budge. Huh? Huh? A robot's not even strong enough to move it? Listen closely. Oh, don't worry. My physical strength is approximate to that of a strong senior citizen. <laughs> oh, Kibo. I'm so impressed. Piece of shit! <laughs> That's fucking pathetic. <laughs> The professor did not want a repeat of the tragedy that occurred during trial production. <laughs> what happened during trial production? Oh, uh, uh, now I'm just plain curious about what happened during that trial, seriously. Allow Gonta. Oh, then allow Gonta. Gonta. Fuck. Gonta lift cover before to peek inside. Should be able to pick up cover, too. Gonta placed its hands on the manhole cover and... Upsie daisy. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> it's just nothing for him. So easily? The strength must be due to my magic. <laughs> yep, there's no mistaking it. <laughs> oh, you're amazing, Himiko. <laughs> but she's just like, I can't believe any degenerate male could do this. What should Gonta do with cover now? Please leave it somewhere else. Be careful not to hit anyone with it. Um, actually, Gonta no can do that. Very rude to litter. <laughs> but with nowhere to dispose of the manhole cover, Gonta begrudgingly tossed it aside. The manhole cover easily traveled five yards before it hit the ground. <laughs> Got that laugh. <laughs> Doesn't even sound human. What wonderful strength. You could likely crush a child's skull with ease. Jesus, dude. Oh my god. Gonta never do that? How ungentlemanly. Gonta never crush child's skull. Um, <laughs> Gentlemen or not, no one would do that. But, but Gonta is so much more reliable than some bean counting robot. <laughs> hmm. Are you talking about me? Because I can count many things, not just beans. <laughs> While everyone else was talking, I slowly peeked into the manhole. It was too dark inside to see clearly, but I could feel cold, moist air di drifting up from it. Actually, this place is kind of creepy. We're really going in here? Got it. I'm sure it's fine. At the very least, we definitely won't die down here. <laughs> Thanks, Kaido. I really appreciate the <laughs> the words of encouragement. I'll protect you. If anything happens, I'll protect most of you, but the degenerate males are on their own. Going to protect you. Then going to protect Minfolk. That's true. <laughs> Awfully quiet. Where are the Monokuma and the Monica? Seriously. I see, yes. It was certain they would show up at some point and crush us like rotten gnats. 
<laughs> they probably haven't noticed yet. I see. Then let's hurry before they show up to mess with us. <laughs> one by one, we each descended down into the manhole. Once we all climbed down the ladder, we looked around and saw an open area. <laughs> it's more spacious than I thought it'd be. Yoo-hoo! <laughs> what is it? What is this place? That is correct. An old industrial passageway, I suspect. Perhaps factories once existed here. Ah. Ah, uh, this is all that's left of them. Hey. Hey, take a look at this. <laughs> <laughs> what a considerate sign. Apparently the end of the tunnel is the exit. <laughs> that's not suspicious at all. Um considerate, you don't think it's weird that someone went out of their way to write exit? Come on, guys. It's almost as suspicious as I am. <laughs> What's the worst that can happen? <laughs> <laughs> Don't piss yourself in fear. Your natural scent is bad enough. <laughs> I'm not scared, and I smell just fine. Hey. Well then, go on ahead. No standing around here. Come on, Kaide, you go first. <laughs> That's... Uh, yeah. Yeah. No need to worry. Hmm. It looks a bit dangerous, but we're all ultimates here. Yeah, that's right. As long as we work together, everything will work out just fine. Uh, okay. Yeah, you're right. Well said. That's exactly what I was gonna say. We're really on the same wavelength, Kaide. Give me a hug. <laughs> oh, I like Kaido. He's nice. No. <laughs> Kaide, come on. Uh, no. Give him a hug, Kaide. <laughs> degenerate males. <laughs> I like that sprite. Typical degenerate behavior. You were trying to trick her into pressing her boobs up against you. <laughs> oh, Kaido, I wanna give you a hug. You're always so. Supportive of me. What's the matter? What's up? You want to give me that hug after all? Yeah. No. Kaide, come on now. N not really. <laughs> hey, you don't gotta hold back. We're two of a kind, you know. Yeah, Kaide, stop being mean. Hey. Hey, you two, quit flirting. Can't you read the air? Don't screw around. We're not flirting. Well, you guys are annoying. <laughs> what do you? What do you think, Ronaldo? How should I put this? Well, we gotta keep trying. Nothing's gonna change if we don't try. Come on, Heidi. <laughs> Come on, Kaide, take that exit. It's not suspicious. Please, I didn't create it. I'm not the mastermind. Trust me, please. <sighs> You're so sketchy. Yoo-hoo! <laughs> Yodelay-hee-hoo! <laughs> dot, dot, dot. Right? Oh, it echoes well. Must be pretty big, then. A giant underground passage is so exciting. I want to play hide and seek in here. Um, hide and seek? <laughs> <laughs> I want to play it with Keyboy. I am the master of hide and seek. You got me. As the supreme leader of an evil organization, I'm always on the run from the law. And over time, I just became a total pro at hiding. It's a lie. Just kidding. That was a lie. <laughs> oh God. Hey, I thought so. <laughs> Okay. Ruma, you always have crazy stuff to say. <laughs> You're too weak, Kibo. Let me remodel you and I'll make you the strongest robot ever. That being said. First, I'll soup up your crotch plate by installing a nice thick one. Just how I like it. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god, I love Oma. He's just like, do robots have dicks? And then Mew is just like, Hey, Kibo, you don't have a dick? I can install you one. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. Everyone's crazy. Kazatua says so. You're so amazingly strong, Ganta. I want a piggyback ride. <laughs> I'm gonna talk to you, Kibo. Hmm. It's quite dusty in here. Prolonged exposure to this polluted air may be detrimental to one's health. Huh? What? Polluted air bothers you? But you don't even breathe air, right? That's... Well, that is... <laughs> well, it's true that I do not breathe. I also do not like polluted air any more than you do. Okay. I see. So you have a function for sensing poisonous gases. 
Well then, lead the way. It's robophobic. No, I don't have that function. Do I look like a canary to you? <laughs> uh, what, you don't? You're not... <laughs> then you're even more useless than a canary. <laughs> oh, Kibo, you're not useless. <laughs> I like Kibo so much. He's so cute. Be careful. Even if this is a trap, we all need to... All we need to do is fight and struggle our way out of it. It'll be dangerous, of course, but it's better than rotting away here. What do you think, you little creepo? In any event... When Kokichi yodeled earlier, his echoes reminded me of tales told in mountain villages. They believe that voices echoing off the mountains are replies from Yamabiko the spirit. Oh. Ah, oh, this may take too long. I shall save the rest for after we safely escape. Interesting. It's dark here. We're gonna keep- if we're gonna keep going, we need a light. Uh, then you should use magic to light it up, you know, like Lumos or something. Uh, <laughs> It'll be okay. We should be fine without a light. <laughs> magic power is precious. I need to save it for when we really need it. I see. Okay. <laughs> you don't really know magic, <laughs> do you? Because. If we're going, let's hurry up already, Kaide. Stop fucking clicking on people. It'll be a pain if Monokuma and his cubs appear. It'll probably be okay. Even though this is suspicious as hell. There will be an exit at the end of this, and once we reach it, this will all be over. I just know it. I clung fiercely to that belief as we stepped into the tunnel. You're about to take on the death road of despair. <laughs> what a nice name. The objective is simple. Everyone works together to escape. Okay. I remember this from the trailers. Interesting. It's like a side-scrolling type of thing, it looks like. I kind of figured it'd be in the trial from seeing it in the trailers, just because I don't usually get mini games outside of the trials. Interesting. Press the L and the directional buttons to move. Press the circle button to jump. You'll encounter plenty of traps set up to pre prevent you from escaping. If you hit a trap or wall or fall off a ledge, that person will be eliminated and control will switch to one of the remaining students. If everyone is eliminated, game over, man. Oh, sorry, didn't mean for things to get that real. For now, stay vigilant and do your best to reach the exit. Not that it matters. <laughs> Thanks for the load of confidence. Okay. Let's do this. Um, okay, move, jump, support, control, let's cheer. Wait, what was it cheer again? Oh, that one. Good job! <laughs> hey! Hope speeches! <laughs> they always work so well. Okay. All right! Uh, fuck. Oh shit, what the fuck? What happened? Leave it to me, everyone. <laughs> Was too busy looking at the fire from that thing. Did I get killed by the coins? Okay. Um, oh, the <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> I'm just killing them one by one. I'm not even controlling them. Uh, okay, come on, Kibo. Okay. Uh, uh, fuck! Fine. No! Fucking do it. Oh, my hand slipped. Okay. <laughs> I'll fucking do it. Ah! Fuck! What the hell? <laughs> oh, God. Okay. Um. Uh. No. Okay. Wait for the perfect timing. Mm -hmm. Yay! Whoa. Oh, no. What the fuck is. Oh, no! <laughs> Everyone else is dead. Besides me, best boy. Let's have more. Uh, oh fuck! <laughs> <not gonna> <laughs> what? Oh god! Am I supposed to beat that? Uh. uh what? As I slowly opened my eyes, it dawned on me that I had somehow lost consciousness. <gasps> Oh! Are you feeling alright? You're awake, are you alright? Uh, I'm fine, but what about everyone else? 
Am I gonna like get to retry it or like, uh, I don't know. Looked around and saw the other sitting on the ground. Mm. Oh. Yeah. Everyone sat in stunned silence. A sobering sadness filled the air. <laughs> Monokuma. <laughs> Jeez, this is quite the pity party you sad sacks are throwing for yourselves. Huh? Monokuma? Oh god. <laughs> Not these guys. Wow, you all look exhausted. Poor things, I feel sorry for you. Jeez, this place is filthy. It's murder on my cashmere skin. I bet Monodam is feeling lucky right now. His body is already a cheap piece of junk. <laughs> hey. Why don't you respond to him, Monodam? It'll liven things up a little, you know? <laughs> so you guys crawled out of your holes. I guess you finally noticed what we were up to. Huh? Noticed? <laughs> I've known for a while that you guys would botch whatever escape plan you had. Huh? What? Um... Yeah, I also kind of pretty much knew, too. What are you saying? <laughs> mm, that's a lie. Then, you knew all along that this was just a trap? Okay. You're the worst of the worst! And there was no exit, you tricked us. Okay, so we were, like, supposed to lose that? Like, <laughs> that was so rant. Like, <laughs> I don't know, I'm pretty bad at side-scrolling games, but, like, damn, everything was so random what killed you, like... I thought the mana coins were good. Like I didn't think they would explode on me randomly. Ugh. Don't worry. No, there's an exit. So. I think you guys will manage to reach it if you all work together. Oh, <laughs> Are they lying or what? Yeah, there's nothing you 16 ultimates can't accomplish if you work together. <laughs> <laughs> and at first you don't succeed. Shing. Try, try again. Try as many times as you want until you accept, re accept reality. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, so it's supposed to be impossible. <laughs> or not. <laughs> yeah, so we can escape if we work hard enough. Fucking moron! No way, you little moron. They'd be freaking out if we could actually reach it. Jeez. That's probably why they let us try. They wanted us to try the underground passage, so we'd learn that escape is impossible. You got me. Instead of blocking off every exit completely, they'd leave that little bit of hope. They want us to be desperate to go home, corner us mentally. Actually... That's just rotten. You might be right, but... Yeah, but we can't just give up. Yeah. Right, you guys? I mean, we've only failed once, you know? We can't give up this early, right? Okay. But isn't this... Isn't getting out of here impossible? That's not true. No, it's not. It may take one more try, or a lot more tries, but it's not impossible. Believe in the power of hope, guys. Forget about Monokuma. It doesn't matter what he says. I'll get us out of here. I don't want to lose to him, and I don't want any of you to lose either. I refuse to lose to someone who would do these terrible things to us. You're right. Kaide. Mm-hmm. So let's all work together to try to escape this place, together. And once we get out of here and make it to the outside world, right? Why don't we all stay friends? Um, friends? Yeah. Yeah, after going through an experience like this, I think we'd all be the best of friends. Right? I mean, it's not every day you get to meet other ultimates. So what do you say? <laughs> <laughs> that that might not be bad. Yeah. Yeah, that's a great idea. Then then we've all the more reason to escape this place no matter what. <laughs> My body is ready. <laughs> you can tell by how, how out of control my pit sweat is. I'm glad. Everyone. But... <laughs> like how she said, I'm glad. I'm glad about your pit stains, Tinko. <laughs> Isn't it premature to say what we'll do after we escape? Assumptions are all but useless. Whoa. Jeez, you're clueless. Why am I not surprised that a robot can't read the air? That's robophobic. <laughs> That's robophobic. Robots can read the air. Thanks to innovations in pollutant detecting technology, I... <laughs> oh, Gibo. <laughs> That's not what he meant, buddy. Anyways, it doesn't matter if Monokuma says it's impossible. We'll show him what we can do. That's right. Yeah, you're right. You're right. It seems like a pain, but I guess we'll try. Yeah. Yeah, let's work together. We messed up last time, but I'm sure it'll go well this time. It'll be okay. 
I'm sure we'll be fine. A divine wind will blow through and lift us to victory. Wonderful. Ah, oh, humanity is truly wonderful. The way you all comfort adversity is beautiful. With our bonds stronger than ever, we stepped into the tunnel once more. Oh no, I don't want to do this again! <laughs> uh, okay. Good job! <laughs> Come on, guys! Okay. Jump! Jump! Okay. Ah! Fuck me! No, 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 no! Shit! Okay. okay. Oh, oh, fuck! What? Did I die? So, like, I can't tell what these mana coins. I'm just gonna avoid them. So no, fuck! Damn it. it! They just fall on you. How are you supposed to avoid them? Okay. No. Come on, Zara. That's true. Come on, best boy. Oh, yeah. Fuck! Oh, it's on my side. Is it better if I hit them? Okay. Uh, okay. 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 Come on, Anji. You got this. No, oh, fuck it. Ah! Bye, Yonara! That was my bad. <laughs> I admit that. That was my bad. I should have waited for good timing. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> fuck. I shall go. Okay. Um. I have to time this like a certain way. Like. Okay. <laughs> oh, fuck. What? I was above the chain. Okay. I <laughs> this game is bullshit. What? Oh shit. I didn't even notice that. There's like a thing right there. Okay. Muggy jump. What? Let us proceed. How am I even supposed to beat that? Uh, oh shit. Do his best. Please, go to Please, shit. Yes, I'm on. <laughs> Just me. No, ah, the stupid fucking. Oh my god. The stupid little pipe area, like. The higher area kept screwing me up. Uh, <laughs> uh. When I finally woke up, searing pain coursed throughout my entire body. Uh. I see I lost consciousness again. Oh my god. Please tell me that game is impossible. Why? What the? And I was looking forward to a happy ending. Don't worry. Not yet. We're just getting started. Mm -hmm. Of course, this will be a piece of cake. <sighs> Gonta gonna escape. Become friends with everyone. Gentlemen never give up. Uh... This time, this time we'll reach the exit. This time. Those words carried me as I stepped into the tunnel once again. But... Huh. It was no good. Even so, we refused to surrender. We kept telling ourselves that this time we'll escape. Okay, so I think it is impossible. It was just like a bullshit thing that Monokuma made. But we failed each time. With every attempt, we repeated the words, this time, over and over again. But in the end, we couldn't do it. I thought we'd be able to escape as long as we never gave up. But it made no difference in the end. My lull hope speeches didn't do anything. <laughs> Failed again. Damn. Damn it. Seems like I can't go on. That's wrong. Wait, we can't give up this time. We'll. Oh, you know. Ugh. Knock it off already. Huh? Huh? I don't like that. <laughs> You're free to keep trying on your own, but forcing us to join you is basically torture. Uh, torture? That's so mean. You know what really hurts? Being denied the right to give up in an impossible situation. You won't let us give up, and no matter what we say, you have the moral high ground. Damn. That doesn't sound like torture to you. When you say we can't give up, you're not inspiring us. You're strong-arming us. That's wrong. I didn't mean it like that. Hey, degenerate male. Hey, degenerate, quit being so selfish. Jeez, Oma. And not being selfish. The others feel the same way, too. Huh? What? Oh, poor Kaide. Everyone? <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Kibo just looks so cute. <laughs> oh, man. My spirit is nearly broken. This hardship gnaws at me. Given the circumstance, the most logical course of action would be to give up. <laughs> yeah. 
I feel like Hisashi Mitsui in the second half of a basketball game. I feel like that's a reference I don't I don't get. I knew this wasn't possible from the start. <laughs> God, she seems like it's not even phasing her. This bullshit is a waste of my precious time and energy. I can't let you all rely on my magic. Besides, <laughs> I don't have enough MP left. <laughs> I'm just relieved that no one was seriously injured. Praise be to Atua. Wait! Please wait, we can no give up. Hey guys! You guys are really okay with not getting out of this place? We shouldn't have to push ourselves. Let's just find another way out, okay? Huh? What? No way. You're talking about the killing game, aren't you? Oh, God. You are a little shit, Oma. Ah. Oh, so you're gonna interpret it like that, huh? Oh, God. Oh, man, I bet you're crazy. You gotta be kidding me! What are you saying? There's no way we can do the killing game. <laughs> <laughs> Calm down, want some bubble gum? You can blow pretty big bubbles with it. <laughs> Jeez. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, looks like this little degenerate wants his head smashed into the ground. Wait! Stop it, guys, we shouldn't be fighting. Jeez. Jeez. We fell apart pretty quick for a group that decided to be friends and work together. <sighs> sorry. I'm sorry, this is my fault. I'm so sorry. Uh, um. No, Kaide. Idiot, what are you apologizing for? It's not your fault at all. Hmm. Really? I think it is Kaide's fault. Jeez, Magi. What? What? Why? This is an announcement! This is an official announcement from the Ultimate Academy for Gifted Juveniles. It is now nighttime! It is now 10 p.m. nighttime. Officially starts now. It's very bad time! <laughs> Whether you've been good or naughty, it's time to go tinkle and go to Betty Bye. Please be careful. It's time to go tinkle in the shower. <laughs> and poop in there, too. The dining hall and gym are locked during nighttime, so please be careful. That's a dot. Bedtime or sign! Ha ha ha, sweet dreams. Nighttime, huh? Well, no sense pushing our luck. We should probably just get a fresh start tomorrow. Huh? Fresh start? What do you think? We've each been assigned a room in the dormitory. Perhaps we should rest there? Ah! Uh, we're gonna rest there? What's wrong? The rooms aren't that bad. Much better than my prison cell, that's for sure. But, but it makes me nervous to think we'll be staying the night in this creepy school. Okay. Well, nothing we can do but suck it up. So what's our plans for tomorrow? Besides me killing someone. Since the dining hall opens at 8 a.m., how about we meet there at that time? That's right. Sure, I think that'll work. I'm okay with that. It's decided. Can we go to our rooms already? Either way. Yes, we should get as much rest as we can and regain our strength. Mm. Yeah, I don't know if I can go pee by myself in the middle of the night. <laughs> I'll come with you. I don't mind that is. Just let me know. That's rule sprite. <gasps> hey guys, just as a warning. How should I put this? We shouldn't let our guards down. We'll be easy targets at night. You mean? Because of killing game, you mean? Please wait. I see no logical. I see no need to worry about something as illogical as murder taking place here. Mm -hmm. I know, I know. Just a warning. Uh, we do have like three Kamidas here at least. Aw, oh, Kaido. I mean... Hey, why'd you apologize before? You didn't do anything wrong, you know? Um... Well, we tried to escape. I felt like we were united behind a common goal. But after I put everyone's lives at risk, that unity is gone now. Seriously? Come on! Shut up! That's the stupid end result. It's not like you wanted it to go that way. Aw. Listen up. Don't apologize for something that's not your fault. It'll just make you feel bad. <sighs> you know... <laughs> Everyone just decided to blame you and give up. I'm gonna give him a piece of my mind later. Aw, Kaido. You're so nice. You're a best boy, too. Ugh. Even though I have like five of them on, in this game already. Well, anyways, let's just go to sleep for now. See you tomorrow. Mm. Aw, I like Kaido. He's so nice. Why don't you give him a hug, Kaide? Thank you, Kaido. 
Uh, um... Um, Kaede? I don't think you need to worry about what Kukichi said. You weren't pressuring us, at least. I don't think so. Uh, yeah, thanks, Suichi. <sighs> but I'm exhausted. Let's just go back to our rooms and rest. You're right. Great, well, see you tomorrow. That game is fucking hard. <laughs> I wonder if we can come back and play this later. Everyone left, so I should head back to my room too. Like, is it even actually possible to beat it? I'm really happy they didn't make me play it again. Like, ugh. Everyone left, so I should head back to my room too. Yeah, okay, let's go. What's the matter? <laughs> What's wrong, Gonta? You're not going back to the dorms? Um... Gonta worry about manhole. Think it okay with cover gone? What if someone fall in? Get hurt real bad. Cause Gonta gentleman. Gonta gentleman. Gentleman can no... No can ignore that. But Kurumi tell Gonta leave cover off. Mm. Gonta not know what to do. Um... Everyone knows it's here, so I'm sure we'll all be careful. Don't worry about you're it. right. Okay, you're right. Maybe Gonta just keep an eye on it. Thank you, Kaede. Gone to go back to room now. Good night. Yeah. Yeah, good night. Aw. Gone to so sweet. Gone to may look scary, but he's actually a very kind, innocent soul. Now let's just go to bed. Ah, it looks cool at night. Pretty. I like the dome thing. I like the setting is really cool. It's a lot of like extra area it feels like to explore. It's kind of like an in between between like the first game and the second game because the first game felt so confined, the second game felt super open. So this one seems to kind of be like, like this area definitely feels really open, but you know the schools themselves seem a lot more confined, I guess, than the island. Okay, Are you feeling all right? Is something the matter? Please rest. Try to regain as much strength as you can. Escaping this place will prove to be quite difficult. Best not to fret over it. Kurumi's pretty nice. Very motherly, I feel like. Seems like... Sigh, seeing it like this, the school really is eerie. It's an interesting place in the day, but having to stay the night is too much. Yeah, <laughs> that was the same thing I was saying. It's kind of creepy. Pretty, but creepy. What about you, Himiko? <laughs> She's so cute. My magic. If you really can't fall asleep, I'll put you to sleep with my magic hammer. <laughs> you know, like hit me up that side of the head with it. Rest in peace. <laughs> Rest in peace. That would be an eternal sleep. <laughs> Just hit me upside the head with a hammer. Magic, Kaede. Magic. <laughs> oh my god. So this is my room. Well, it's not too shabby. Huh? A key? Is it a key to this room? <laughs> Bingo! Bingo! You got it right. Nice work, that is. In fact, the key to this room. You probably don't have anything worth stealing in here. But you should still lock your door when you leave. Hell yeah! All right, now it's time for me to give you a special hint. If you steal someone else's key, you can sneak into the room and kill them easily. <laughs> I was kind of thinking that since the key's just like on the desk. You just go into somebody's room super easily and take it. <laughs> Break in later. That's wrong! Shut up, I don't want to hear that. Yeah! I'm got chewed out. <laughs> just wanted you to kill somebody, come on. <laughs> Jeez, this place is the worst. I just want to go home. <laughs> oh, poor Kaede. Uh. Huh? 
Is this a closet? I guess I'll take a look inside just to be safe. Huh? Huh? What is this? Inside, there were uniforms that matched the one I was wearing. Lots of uniforms. Did they prepare all of these? They prepared everything just to keep us trapped here, but why? I don't think you can see anything else. Betty bye time. Uh, I'm tired. As soon as my body hit the bed, my body immediately froze. After everything that had happened, I forgot how physically and mentally exhausted I was. Da -da -da. I thought we would achieve our goal as long as we didn't give up. That had always been my mentality whenever I practiced the piano. But maybe playing piano is easier. Because I'm blessed with that talent. Da -da -da. With Chopin's prelude playing in my head, I fell into a deep sleep. Oh no. <laughs> what do we have here? Oh god. <laughs> what? Oh my god. <laughs> Just casually wearing some human flesh on my face. <laughs> Don't mind me. <laughs> god. What is the setup? <gasps> New students of the Ultimate Academy, congratulations! <laughs> The weeds here have grown thick with joy, as if celebrating your entrance into the school. Seeing your anxious eyes shine with murderous intent makes me oh so happy. <laughs> if you ever feel lost, don't be shy. Talk to your friends or a teacher. Let's all get along. And let's do lots of killing, too. <laughs> I pray for the physical and mental well-being of this new killing school semester. I mean, I pray for the well-being of you, you students. That will, too. <laughs> yeah, right. Don't believe you. Sign. This is an announcement. This is an official announcement from the Ultimate Academy. It's 8 a.m. It's 8 a.m., bitches. Time to wake up and face the blood-drenched day. So... I wonder who's dead this morning. <laughs> I wonder who Oma killed last night. Stop it! Stop it! If I suddenly see a dead body, I'll puke again. Have fun! Enjoy your killing school semester. Da -da -da. <laughs> oh, Lord. It was all so few. It was all some terrible dream. <laughs> Wouldn't that be nice? Wait, I don't have time to joke around. I said I'd meet the others in the dining hall. Everyone must be waiting. I need to get to the dining hall ASAP. Okay, I think this is probably a pretty good place to cut off. Hope you guys are enjoying the let's play so far. Oh man, I'm really enjoying this game. I mean, I feel like it was. I mean, I felt pretty sure that I would have been waiting so long to play it. Um, I feel like so far all my favorite characters are pretty much the same that I uh, originally predicted would be my favorites, like Aruma and uh, Rontaro, uh, Oma, Kibo. I do like Saihara a lot too. I feel like he would be one of my favorites as well. I feel like him and um, Saihara are kind of tied for, um, I, don't know, I guess, like my favorite guy right now. Saihara because he's sweet and Rontaro just because he sketches me out. I just, like, I'm so confused about him. <laughs> oh, gosh, I don't know. A lot of me just feels like he's just too suspicious and he has to be a red herring. Yeah, Oma and Kibo are super hilarious as well, and I feel like Oma probably will still be crazy. <laughs> At least in some sense. But yeah, I hope you guys are um, enjoying this. Please leave a like or a comment if you are, and uh, let me know, I guess, your opinions on the characters or... If you're enjoying the Let's Play or the game or anything else in general, really, and I will see you guys real soon. Subscribe to Weeby News for more hope-filled videos.